Please welcome Marco Bailey. So I think you probably know him. He is around like for a long time. He was one of my teachers and he shaped, helped me shaping my career, my character to stay in that industry. Um, I thought it is a good idea to bring him to the concept and to the program. And uh, he should talk to you a bit about his experience, how the industry changed within 20 years, as well as what is important to stay um, valuable and trendy as an artist, but stay yourself as well. Yeah. There is a lot that you can cover. You were like, you know, he, he was doing everything. He has a successful label, mm. doing parties, um, promoting other, other DJs. You have your own career, producing, exactly, yeah. remixing. So the whole scope. Actually, you, you should be the head mentor. <laughs> I'm doing so take this, over the role now. I do this this year now, 25 years, my friends, you know, and uh, as you all probably already felt and feel, it's, it's like very it's a hardcore world, actually, you know. And they give you all a hardcore time here, I heard, but to be honest, you, you should really take this challenge and chance because, first of all, the prize, what, what the winner gets is amazing. I never had this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And, and all the chances what you get, so this, this opportunity, what you get, is fantastic, you know. You get immediately the management, they invest into your career. It's fantastic. When I started back in the days, I was playing as a DJ, eight, nine hours, ten hours, every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday alone. And it was all styles of music together. I, I was starting playing with turntables without even a pitch. It was a pitch, it was like turning on a, on a knob, you know, and then <laughs> hearing the beat and somehow putting it together. Of course, finals, only finals back in the days. I think it's a good school, you know. Uh, I have nothing against all the creativity, you know, the tractor and, uh, and, and, and Serato and all these things, but I think there are too many people who just immediately start with this and this is for me not. You should know the basics. This is for me totally, you know, you know, and then the management push, push them, push them, push them, you know. But I'm asking myself, if I, if I take once the cables away, what happens then, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And but what I recommend you all is, it's, it's maybe cliche, but you need to make tracks, you know. You need to work in the studio too, because I know a million of good DJs. Really, I know a lot of good DJs, but they are just DJ, and that's not enough anymore to, to make it, you know. I was also doing parties, inviting a lot of DJs. I invited Carl Cox, Jeff Mills, Richie Houghton, Philip too, you know, Sven Veit. Everybody played for me from my, my genre of DJs. And then I think it's a good thing if you set up a party, then you invite these people, they maybe invite you and stuff like this. But yeah. beside that, I was producing also almost every day in the evening in the studio, almost every day. Not always good, a lot of crap too, but <laughs> <laughs> but every day busy with it, busy with it, busy with it, busy with it, and, and mixing and going to the record stores and, and, and not even only one record store, driving to Holland, to Amsterdam, driving to Berlin, driving to Frankfurt, to Brussels, everywhere to get that records back in the days, you know. It's a lot of uh, dedication, a lot of sacrifice, you know, I think so, and still, uh, and now it's even you need to, uh, to, to dedicate even more at the moment. But also these networks, like you all know, it's also getting important. I wish it was not there, honestly. <laughs> because this, this gives you, you have to put a lot of time and energy into this, for me, crap, you know? Get what you should put in the music. You should listen to the music, you should go to the studio and listen to tracks and make tracks and only being busy with the music. Nowadays, <laughs> You spend half of the day on these networks, you know? And what should we post? What should I post to get a lot of commands and all this? <laughs> yeah, that's good. You know, but this is what the whole society created at the moment. And yeah, you have to follow somehow and you have to, yeah, you, ha you need a lot of hands nowadays. But for me, the most important is the music. I think, I hope for you too. And producing tracks and, and trying to be a good DJ and, you know, and stay yourself and not because because here in Ibiza music own works ah oh, let's try that style now and no, that no no just close your eyes and if you want to play drum and bass you play drum and bass if you want to play house you play house if you want to play techno you play techno what you feel but not because now suddenly something gets popular I, I would never do this and this is what I recommend you to that's about the whole thing I don't know the recipe for success 
Yes. Yeah, but you were staying yourself, independent from the trends. You yes. were promoting yourself, exactly, your own style yeah. all the time. Yeah. And sometimes it was more trendy, sometimes not. Yeah. But that made you like stay alive for all the decades. Exactly. Because you yeah, were independent so. from trends. Yeah. I think so, it's important. Well, you have a nice style. So. Oh, really? Nice Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, if you have any questions, please go ask him. He can give you any advice for any kind of topic from label to promotion to networking, DJing. Was good yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> About what time you play? I played from 5 to 7 and then stayed another hour and then went to bed at 9 and woke up at 11. So. That's here. also part of the game, After believe five. me, you know? <laughs> That's also cool. part of it. I would like to ask you, what do you use for production, like software? And it's yeah, mainly have, software now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's important to have an analog uh, part? Uh, it depends on what music you want to make, you know? For my style, for techno, I tell you honestly, there is enough software and good software to make These perfect things. tracks. He did a trick for Crosstown. A fantastic label. <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> That's a big breakthrough. It was on a compilation, so... Yeah, it's whatever, but you're on the label. You you're the on the label, and then comes the next and the next. They accepted you, so the next track they will listen to, too. That's fantastic, man, really. Thank you. I never even succeeded in that. <laughs> <laughs> I should uh, speak with Damien. <laughs> nah, you know, whatever, but that's amazing. Congrats, really. But I tell you, like, for production, for, for my kind of music, I think software at the moment is fantastic. Yeah. 15 years ago, you know, I had a sampler, you know, an Akai 3000, I could sample five seconds, ping, that was it. <laughs> you know, and then you pay this two, three thousand euros, you know, yeah. things like this, only with keyboards and stuff, with the big 24 channel mixer, you know. Yes. <laughs> and after that, 10 times, this starts like every... <laughs> <laughs> now it's fantastic what you all have, you know, it's amazing. It's just wonderful. <clears throat> Can make a track on the plane, you know, why not? But for my kind of music, if you start with vocals, I would recommend still a real good studio. Mm -hmm. At least for the final production. Exactly. Yeah. Because, you know. But what, pro what okay. program you use? To I use Ableton. Ableton. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But you can use Cubase, yeah, Logic. Uh, the most important is the sound. Yeah. yeah. But the Ableton is fine, you know. Yeah, it's me. okay. Yeah. Thank Any? you. Hi. Do you think uh, ghost producers are part of the game today? Do you think uh, it's a bad thing, a good thing, or just like uh, everything's uh, natural? You have to produce, so mm. do you think it's natural? For I make also a lot of tracks together with people, you know, because I tell you honestly, I can't play keyboard, you know, but my, I'm, I'm honest, I'm, I'm, I think a million of techno DJs can do this. So if I need really chords, I do this all <laughs> together, but I mention them on the record. You know, but I know a lot of people at the moment, really big at the moment, made by managements and stuff, you know, especially women, not you, sorry. <laughs> they, they, they really just, just pay a, a producer, not go, don't even go to the studio, you know, and the and tracks get delivered, comes out on the label, the rest comes all, yeah. and this is really, this is for me a, a disease, what is happening at the moment. Disease. I, I call it a disease because you know, I go always to the studio, always from the first to the last moment. If I do it now alone or with someone, whatever. Otherwise, there's nothing from yourself in this track, you know. But this is happening at the moment, like you say, a lot. Yes. Sad. Mm. It is so. Questions? But don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard you get all a hard time, but believe me, the chance that you get, you know, like Philip told me also already, and many other people from Bath, this is really amazing, really, really. You should go really for this, because this is, wow. The first prize, you know, of course, it's always <laughs> the first, it's the first what counts, but, you know, like, like even now. He also he had a cross town Rebels already released. What you can wish more, it's amazing, it's amazing. It's amazing. Go for it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did also some, um, uh, how you call this, not yeah, contests, you know, back in the days, uh, in 1990, 1992, I was, these DMC championships in London, I don't know, with this scratching and this back spinning and, but there was no prize. <laughs> <laughs> the prize was just to show those But this, 
Amazing. Go for it. That's <laughs> all what I can tell you. Stay yourself, you know. Just don't look left or right. What do you feel here? And if you go for that, you know, he is the example already. Amazing. <laughs> Man. <laughs> really. Great. Great label, and I'm sure the production is amazing. And now you go on. Hop, hop. Next, next. You know. But please stay a, a real DJ. Please, please. Don't push sink <laughs> bottoms. Please don't do this. Do this when you already proved that you... Like Richie Houghton, you know, he is the professor of all these things. This guy doesn't need to prove anyone anything, you know. He can play with vinyl with anything. He just do this now because he's, he's creating the whole thing. But there are too many young people who just start immediately with the sink bottoms out. <laughs> Go. Evil. No. No. I think it's wrong. My idea. Questions? Please? Uh, what, what do you mean about universal audio tools? About? Uh, universal audio. Oh, great. Great, great, great. You have this? No, no. But uh, I, I use only uh, plug-in software. So. Yeah, amazing, yeah. man. Great, yeah. great, great equipment. It's all expensive also, you know. But He's yeah. from Czech Republic. I think you played there recently, ah, yeah? yeah? Just a, two weeks ago. I played uh, Friday Czech Republic. I know, so she's... Great club, public, wow. You played with uh, back to back with uh, Chris Tamar. Yes, yeah. at the end, yeah. yeah. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like Czech Republic. <laughs> nice, it's nice woman. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is gone now. I can say it, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back. Nice country, man. Charlie? Uh, what's your opinion about what's going on in Berlin? I mean, we've been talking a lot about about this island, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But there's also a big scene in Berlin. Of course. Yeah. What's and opinion? everybody want to live there. <laughs> yeah, and everybody's going there. What's your uh, opinion about well, uh, and the differences an between Berlin and, and this place? Oh, Berlin is working all, all year on around, you know. Yeah. Here it's only three, four months and then it's over, then it's a ghost town. Yeah. And uh, Berlin is, yeah, it, it, Berlin is what London was back in the days. <laughs> Nothing wrong about it. New York has also this impact in America, you know. But you do, you, it's not necessary to live in Berlin to make a good career, you know. It's just an amazing scene over there, yeah. you know. Lots of clubs, lots of different styles, lots lot of, of labels. Yeah, it's great, you know. But Vienna has this too, where Philip lives. Barcelona has also something special. Every city has something. But now Berlin is a little bit outstanding and popular because the clubs are really working well and lots of good music is coming from there. But you don't, you don't need to live there to, to make it. Of course not. But. Uh, but has you know the thing is that it's working the whole year around, and here it's it's totally different than Ibiza. You cannot compare it. Totally, totally different. Because this is uh, this is uh, an island that works three, four months, and then stop. You know, everybody leave again. Most of the people. Uh, do you have any places in the world, in particular maybe like small unknown places that you really love to play? Why? Like yes, I like I know one. <laughs> Argentina, you know, the old South America, Japan. Japan. <laughs> yeah, Japan. But uh, main, but Tokyo, you know. <laughs> Tokyo. Tokyo. Oh, yeah. Tokyo. You know it. Uh, Tokyo is amazing, but all the other cities is very, very small scene, you know. He's playing well. But, man, fantastic <laughs> public. <laughs> and big respect to the Japanese people because they have to pay a lot of entrance compared to what we pay to get into the club only. Very expensive, everything. Very expensive. How do you balance your life as a well-known um, DJ and your personal life? Oh, it's hard, really. <laughs> Not really, honestly. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I do. I try Having to do sports. Life. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and, and, and definitely not, not uh, like everybody think, you know, p the DJs take all, a lot of drugs and stuff mm -hmm. like this. No, definitely not recommended because this is short period, then, you know, the camel goes out. Just try to stay fit and, and it's a lot of dedication, you know. You need to, to love it for 100%, you know. 
Because if you think, yeah, but today, not now, no, today, yes. Every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, it's always music. That's it, really. I think so, because if you say, oh, I do this only three days a week, and the rest I'm gonna, mm, I go there, and then I go there, and then I'm gonna do, do that there, and I'm gonna swim there, no, 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 it's every day, this is the main part, and then comes the rest. For me, that's in my life is. System. Hi, Marco. Uh, what genre of music do you uh, like uh, besides electronic music? Like when you're in a car or I something? like rock. I like a lot of, yeah. Because I started playing rock music and I played hip hop. Okay. I played funk, you know. Public Enemy and all that stuff. I don't know if you remember these guys, yeah. you know. <laughs> EPMD, Twin <coughs> Hype, all these things, you know. But also rock, Billy Idol, even Brian Adams and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> Police, Simple Minds. Sting, of course, police. All these things, you know, new wave. I played all these things and I still love it. If I still can go to a concert from, from a rock band, I do it, definitely. But I have no time. I have no time. But if I can, I definitely like this also. I like many styles of music, as long as it is not too cheesy, too commercial, and I'm into it. That's it? One more? Yeah. Do you, do, you, one. do you think it's important to to gather your inspiration from from other sources? I mean, not only electronic music. Is it uh, well, important or, or do yeah, you...? Yeah, you know, why not? You know, why not? Why not? Many people, you know, they, they, they use old records to sample. Why not? You know, there's nothing wrong about it, I think. There's mm. nothing wrong about it. Not ripping off a whole record what is happening now and then getting number one in Beatport, for example. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. This, it's very, very, very sad. But you can sample some grooves and some little things out of, of old records. This means also that you know that record. And that's, and that's great, I think. But, but uh, yeah, you know, you don't need to, to copy, copy things you should not, you know. You should not. But it's 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 great to have these influences. Definitely. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it.